got the power, the power to lead. Who answers the call for friends in need? Super Y, Super Y, he's the guy. He's Super Y. Who's got the power, the power to lead? Who looks into books for the answers we need? Super Y, Super Y, and the Super Readers, we're gonna fly. Come along with the Super Readers. Adventure waits when you're with Super Y. Super Y and the Super Readers, yeah. Super Y and the Super Readers. Adventure waits when you're with Super Y. So glad you're here. It's me, Wyatt. Welcome to Storybrook Village, where all our fairy tale friends live. Today is the Storybrook Village Dog Fair. Want to come see the dogs with me? Great, let's go. Look at all of these cute dogs. Hi, Wyatt. We're having this dog fair to help these dogs find homes. Cool. <laughs> Hi there, puppy. <laughs> Do you want to play ball? <laughs> Wow, good job, puppy. You know what? Woof. We can help you find a home. Would you like that? Woof, woof, woof. Great. How can we find this puppy a home? This is a super big problem. And a super big problem needs us. Woof, woof. The super readers. We need to call the rest of the super readers. Call them with me. Say, calling all super readers. Calling all super readers. To the book club! To the book club. To, to the book club! Come on, to the book club! Wyatt here! Woof, woof! P is for pig! Red Riding Hood rolling in! Princess P, at your service. And you, say your name. Great, we're all here. Together, we will solve my problem. Let's go. Okay, Wyatt, state your problem. I met this really great puppy today. Woof! <laughs> He's so friendly. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> yeah, and I want to find him a home, but I don't know how. How can we find this puppy a home? Good question, Wyatt. And when we have a question, we look... In a book! Which book shall we look in? Peas and carrots, carrots and peas. Book come out, please, please, please! Let's read the title of this book. Wolfster Finds a Home. We know what to do. We need to jump into this book and find the answer to my question. First, we look for super letters. And then, put them in our super duper Computer! Super duper computer, how many super letters do we need? 
Hmm. In this story, we need five super letters. And then we'll get... our super story answer! It's time to transform. Ready? Ready! Puppy, you're coming too? <laughs> Woof! Super duper! Arms in. Put your arm in. Super readers, to, to the, the rescue! rescue! was a superhero dog. Woof, woof, Woofster to the rescue! Woofster needed a home. Woof. To find his home, Woofster needed to find the golden bone. This golden bone will help me find my home. But I need help to find it. And that, Super Readers, is why we are in this book. We'll help Wolfster find the golden bone so he can find his home. But how do I find the golden bone? Wolfster, follow the three super secret scrolls and they will lead you to the golden bone. Woof! A scroll! It says castle. We need to go to the castle. There's the castle. Let's roll. <laughs> you can fly too. Cool. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> oh my chinny chin chin. There's a dragon blocking the castle. And he's menacing. The dragon is menacing. It says so on his sign. <laughs> but what does menacing mean? <laughs> Woofster, to the rescue! With my doggy dictionary, I can tell you what any word means. Menacing means angry, mean, menacing. Now we know what it means. What to do? Give your tail. A wag! Whoa. Oh. Uh, uh. We need the dragon to be nice so we can get into the castle. But how can we change him to be a nice dragon? Alpha Pig to the rescue! With my amazing alphabet tools, I can build the word nice. 
Then he will be nice, not menacing. A, B, C. Sing with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, and T, U, V. W, X, Y, and Z. Sing with me. Amazing alphabet singing. The first letter we need is N. Where's the N? There! There's the N. Now we need an I. Where's the I? There! There's the I. And now, where's the C? There! There's the C. Whoa. Last, we need the E. Where is the E? There! There's the E. N, I, C, E. Nice! I am a nice dragon. Not menacing at all. Lickety letters! We found the letters in the word nice and turned the dragon from menacing to nice. And now we can go into the castle. Let's give ourselves a big thumbs up. Alphabet power is bombastic! Thanks, Alpha Pig. <laughs> Oh, it's no problem. You found super letters? Which ones? A T A T. Let's put them in our super duper computer. Three more super letters, and then we'll get our super story answer. Right on, readers. Let's go find the scroll. Come on. The scroll. Woof, 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 sir. A scroll. Another message about how to find your home. It says prairie. We need to go to the prairie to find our last scroll. What's a prairie? Woofster to the rescue! With my doggy dictionary, I can tell you what any word means. Prairie means a large area of grass with no trees, like a meadow. Prairie. Now we know what it means. Whoop de doo. Give your tail a wag. Anyone see a a large grassy area? Woof woof. Uh -uh. Cue the sparkles. Cue the music. Princess Presto to the rescue. With my magic spelling wand. I can spell the word prairie and help us find the prairie. Spell with me. What letter makes the sound p? P. 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 Wands up. Write a lowercase p with me. Great p. Hmm. What letter makes the sound r? R! R! Let's write a lowercase r. Now, the letters a and i make the sound a in this word. Write the a with me. Now write the i with me. <laughs> Splendid! Now, what letter makes the er sound again? R. R. Write an R with 
me. Now, in this word, the letters I and E make the sound E. Write the I with me. I. Now write the E with me. P. R. A. I. R. I. E. Prairie. Presto! <laughs> Spectacular spelling. We spelled prairie and found a prairie. Let's take a bow. Woof de doo! I love spelling power. It's pop-tastic. <laughs> Thanks, Woofster. We think you're pop-tastic too. Woof! <laughs> you see a super letter? Which one? P. P. That's perfect. We need to put it in our super duper computer. Two more super letters, and then we'll get our super story answer. Nice work, super readers. Come on, let's go find our last scroll and help Wolfster find his home. A scroll! A scroll! Woof! Woof! Arr. The last scroll! It's a picture of the Jewel Sea! To the Jewel Sea we go to find Worcester's home! Are we here? At the Jewel Sea? <laughs> yep! Hmm, what does this sign say? It says, no trespassing. What does no trespassing mean? Woofster, to the rescue! With my doggy dictionary, I can tell you what any word means. No trespassing means don't go in. No trespassing. Now we know what it means. Whoop de doo! Give your tail a wag! But we need to get in to find Woofster's home. How will we get in? Super Y to the rescue! With the power to read, I can change this story and save the day! No trespassing means we can't get in. But we need to get to the Jewel Sea. Let's change the words, no trespassing on this sign. Zah! Why, writer? Write. What's the opposite of no trespassing? Is it go in, go away, or get out? Let's try go in. Which words are go in? One word starts with a G, and one word starts with an I. There! There they are. Zap! Zap! Let's read the sign now. Go in. Super job, super readers! We changed the sign and saved the day. Super Y saved the day! <laughs> Woofster, aw. Oh, it's beautiful! The three scrolls led us to the Jewel Sea. The golden bone should be here. Do you see the golden bone? It's... it's... The, the golden, golden bone! bone. Congratulations, Woofster! Ho oh, ho! You followed the super secret scrolls and found the golden bone. Inside is your super secret message. Roof! And then I'll find my home! Roof! Your home is where you are loved. 
Your home is where you are loved. Oh. Hmm. Me? You want your home to be with me? I woof you. <laughs> oh, I love you too, Wooster. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Wooster, I just thought of something. You can be a super eater too. I can? Nice. What a wonderific idea. What do you think, Wooster? Do you want to be a super reader with us? Woof, 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 you! I'm Woofster with dictionary power. I can tell you what any word means. Hooray! Woof, 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 woof. You see our last super letters? Which ones do you see? D, O. D and O. Let's put them in our super duper Computer! We found all of our super letters. Now we can get our super story answer. Woof! Why flyers? Back to the book club. Come on, Wooster. Woof! We found the super story answer with Silver Eye. Computer, give us our super story answer. Read the letters with me. A, D, O, P, T. Adopt. The super story answer is adopt. But why? To adopt means taking care of someone and making them part of your family. To find the puppy a home, you need to adopt him. And he wants his home to be with you, Wyatt. Puppy, I would love to adopt you, but I have to ask my mom and dad. Come on, let's go. <laughs> mom, Dad. Wyatt, is that a puppy? Puppy, puppy. Yes, and he needs a home. Can we adopt him? Then he'll be part of our family. You know, um, adopting a pet is a big responsibility, Wyatt. You have to walk him. I will. And feed him. I will. And play with him. Oh, yeah, I will. <laughs> well, then... It looks like we're going to adopt this puppy. <laughs> Welcome to the family, little pup. <laughs> hip, hip, hooray! <laughs> the super eater saved the day! <laughs> hip, hip, hooray! hooray! The super eater saved the day! We changed the story, we solved the problem, we went together so hip! So glad you're here. It's me, Wyatt. Hi, puppy. Welcome to Storybrook Village, where all our fairy tale friends live. Guess what? We're learning about outer space today at school. Let's go. about planets and stars in outer space. <gasps> there are so many wonderful little surprises in space. Let's take a closer look. What do you see? Huh. <gasps> I see the moon. 
Good pig. The moon is made up of rocks and dust. I see a star. Good, Red. <gasps> I see a big bright light over there. What is it? That's called a comet. It's made of ice and rocks and has a long end that looks like a tail. Hey, the comet flew away. <gasps> where did it go? Class, see if you can figure out where the comet went. Do you know where the comet went? Me neither. This is a super big problem. And a super big problem needs us, the Super Readers. We need to call the rest of the Super Readers. Call them with me. Say, calling all Super Readers. Calling all Super Readers. To the book club. To the book club. The book club. Come on, to the book club. Wyatt here. Woof, woof. P is for pig. Red Riding Hood rolling in. Princess P at your service. And you, say your name. Great, we're all here. Together, we will solve our problem. Let's go. Okay, let's state our problem. At school, our teacher showed us a comet flying off into outer space. Yep. Yeah. But now we need to know, where did the comet go? Good question, Princess. When we have a question, we look... In, in a book. book! Which book should we look in? Peas and carrots, carrots and peas. Book come out, please, please, please! Let's read the title of this book. Galileo's Space Adventure. We know what to do. We need to jump into this book and find the answer to our question. First, we look for super letters. And then put them in our super duper computer. Super duper computer, how many super letters do we need? Hmm. In this story, we need five super letters. And then we'll get our super story answer. It's time to transform. Ready? Ready! Come on, puppy. You're coming too. <laughs> Woof! Super duper. Arms in. Put your arm in. Super Readers, to the rescue! Alphabet with alphabet power! Wonder Red with word power! Princess Presto with spelling power! Together we are the Super Readers! Why Flyers! We're ready to fly into this book! Super Readers to the rescue! It's time to fly with the Super Readers, cause we've got a problem to solve! Super Readers to the rescue! Super Readers! Working together with powers to read In the books we fly To find the super story answer It's super wide Super readers to the rescue Whoa. Whoa. I'm floating! That's 
because there's no gravity in outer space. And gravity is what helps us stick to the ground. Cool. Presto. <laughs> We're in the book, Galileo's Space Adventure. <laughs> Let's read. Why, writer? Highlight. Read with me. Galileo was an astronaut who lived in outer space. I'm Galileo, and this is my space kitty, Houston. <laughs> One night, Houston jumped onto a speeding comet and whooshed away. Oh no! Houston! My little kittykins! Come back! Galileo did not know where the comet was going. How can I rescue Houston if I don't know where the comet is going? And that, Super Readers, is why we are in this book. We all need to know where the comets are going. Let's float! Whoa. 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 Look at me! Whoa. Whoa. This must be Galileo's rocket ship. Hello, Super Reader Earthlings. Welcome to my home sweet rocket. Hi, Galileo. <laughs> We're here to help you find the comet and rescue Houston. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Super Readers. Climb aboard and we'll search for the comet and Houston together. Whoa, cool. Wow, a real live rocket ship. Whoa, look at all the buttons. Look at Houston go! Let's count backwards so we can blast off. Ooh, this is my favorite part. <clears throat> Ready? Five, Five, four, three, two, one! Blast off! Whoa! Look at us go! <laughs> Look, there's the comet! Whoa, there it goes, there it goes! Oh no, the comet disappeared! How will I find it? Alpha Pig to the rescue! With my space map, I can help find the comet. <gasps> the rocket computer tells me that the comet is headed for Mars. Got it, Galileo. We need to find Mars. Mars begins with an M. Where's the letter M? There! There's the M on the planet Mars. Ooh, it's that red one. Blast off for M -M -M Mars! <laughs> There's Mars. It's the dusty red one, just like on the map. The comet! There it is! And there it goes. <gasps> Super readers? The rocket computer says that the comet is headed for Jupiter. Okay, then. We've got to go to Jupiter, too. Jupiter begins with the letter J. Um, where's the J? There! There's the J on the huge planet Jupiter. Blast off for Jupiter! Jupiter is one big planet. It's the biggest planet of them all. <gasps> the comet! There it is! <sighs> and there it goes. Alert! The rocket computer says that the comet is headed for Neptune. Neptune begins with an N. Which word starts with the letter N? There! There's the N on that windy-looking blue planet. Blast off for Neptune! <laughs> and look, there's the comet! And my little kitty kids, Houston! We found him! Okay, you crazy comet, don't move! We're coming to get Houston! <laughs> Lickety letters! We followed the space map and found the comet. Let's give ourselves a big thumbs up. Yay! Stellar.
stellar job, Alpha Pig. You see super letters? Which ones? O! T! O! T! Let's put them in our super duper computer! Three more super letters and then we'll get our super story answer. Right on, readers. Okay, Houston. My little kittykins, we've got you now. Double drats, the comet flew away again. Uh-oh, that's not good. It's flying back towards Jupiter. <clears throat> Let's follow that comet. Uh-oh, we're slowing down. Oh boy, this isn't good. We're stuck in a bunch of asteroids. Um, what's an asteroid? Wolfster, do the rescue! With my doggy dictionary, I can tell you what any word means. Asteroid means a rock in outer space. Asteroid. Now we know what it means. What do you do? Give your tail a wag. Look how many asteroids there are. Oh, my chinny chin chin. We're stuck in these asteroids. We have to catch up to the comet and rescue my kitty Kim's Houston. But how? You the sparkles. You the music. Princess Presto to the rescue! With my magic spelling wand, I can spell the word zigzag so we can zigzag around these asteroids and get out of here. Ready? Spell with me. What letter makes the sound z? Z! Z makes the z sound. Wands up, write a lowercase z with me. Great, Z. Now, what letter makes the I sound? I. I makes the I sound. Let's write a lowercase I. Woo! Dazzling I. What letter makes the sound G? G. G makes the G sound. Write a lowercase g with me. Great, G. Wow, we need another Z. Z. Write a lowercase z with me. Splendid. Now, what letter makes the ah sound? A! A! Let's write a lowercase a! Amazing A! Now we need another G! Write a lowercase g with me. I, G, Z, A, G. Zigzag! Oh, watch out for that asteroid! Zigzag! Oh, we're almost out! Zigzag! Oh, spectacular spelling! We spelled the word zigzag and got around the asteroids. Let's take a bow. That was out of this world, princess. Now let's save my sweet cutie kittykins. You see super letters? Which letters did you find? R! I! R? I! Yeah! Let's put them in our super duper computer! One more.
more super letter and then we'll get our super story answer. Awesome, super readers. <gasps> Follow that comet. It's headed for Saturn. Blast off for Saturn. <laughs> Here we are at Saturn. Check out its rings. They're beautiful. Aha! There's the comet. There it is. And there it goes. Not again. Again. Oh, it's no use. I can't get to the comet. I can only chase it. Look at my story. Galileo chases the comet. See? I'll never get to the comet and rescue my precious kitty by Houston. What will I do? Super Y to the rescue! With the power to read, I can change this story and save this day. Let's change the word chases in this sentence. Zap! Y writer, write. Okay, super readers. What word will help Galileo get to the comet so he can rescue Houston? Catches, hides, or eats? Hmm. Let's try catches. Which is the word catches? It starts with a C. There! There's the word catches. Zap! Zap! Let's read our new sentence. Galileo catches the comet. Yes! Hooray! Did catching the comet help Galileo rescue Houston? Yes! Yes! Super job, super readers. We changed the story and saved the day. Oh, oh, so Welcome home, Houston. I love you. Yes, I do. <clears throat> and thank you, Super Y. <coughs> What's that, Houston? <coughs> we should let the comet go <coughs> so we can keep going around the sun? Around the sun? Is that where the comet was going this whole time? <coughs> oh. <laughs> okay, then. And... Go! <coughs> Look at that comet go! It's making an orbit, a giant circle around the sun. And there it goes around in an orbit, again. Now we know why that comet kept on getting away from us. Oh, that comet is making me dizzy. Houston, I'm so glad you're home. Ah. Bye, Super Eaters. And thanks for helping me rescue Houston. You're welcome, You're welcome Galileo. Galileo. Bye, Galileo. Bye, Houston. You see our last super letter? Which one? B. B. Let's put it in our super duper computer. Now we can get our super story answer. Why flyers? Back to the book club. Come on, Wolfster. Woo! We found the super story answer with Super Y. Computer, give us our super story answer. Read the letters with me. O, R, B, I, T. Orbit. The super story answer is orbit. But why? Because Galileo learned 
that comets go in an orbit around the sun. And that's where the comet was going with Houston, around the sun. So our question is, where did the comet go? And our answer is... Orbit! The comet is going in an orbit around... The sun! Let's get back to class. Okay, class, tell me what you know about outer space. We can show you. I'm the Earth. I am Dusty Red Mars. I'm the Sun. And I am a comet. I go in an orbit around the Sun. So that means I go around and around and around the Sun. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, class. You figured out that a comet orbits around the sun. Hip, hip, hooray! The super readers save the day! Hip, hip, hooray! hooray! The super readers save the day! We changed the story, we solved the problem, we went together, so hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! So glad you're here. It's me, Wyatt. <laughs> Hi, puppy. Welcome to Storybrook Village, where all our fairy tale friends live. <laughs> hey, our friends are playing at Pig's House. Want to come play? Great, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> built a whole dinosaur land. Yup, see? Here are trees, this is a watering hole, and these are rocks for the dinosaurs to play on. Cool! Woof, woof, woof. I'm being a Taurosaurus, see? I have horns on my head. Roar! I'm being a T-Rex. I'm as big as three cars put together. Roar! Roar! I'm a Spinosaurus. See my pretty back? <laughs> <laughs> woof! Thanks, puppy. Woof, woof! Which dinosaur are you? Hmm. I don't know what kind of dinosaur this is. <gasps> How are we going to play if you don't know what kind of dinosaur you are? Uh-oh. I don't know what kind of dinosaur I am. This is a super big problem. And a super big problem needs us. The Super Readers! We need to call the rest of the Super Readers. Call them with me. Say, calling all Super Readers! Calling all Super Readers! To the book club! To the book club! The book club. Come on, to the book club! Wyatt here! P is for pig. Red Riding Hood rolling in. Princess P, at your service. And you, say your name. Great, we're all here. Together, we will solve my problem. Let's go. Okay, Wyatt, state your problem. Well, everyone wants to play dinosaurs, but I don't know what kind of dinosaur I have. That's uh -oh. tricky. Oh, no. How can I find out what kind of dinosaur I'm playing with? Good question, Wyatt. And when we have a question, we look... 
In a book! Which book should we look in? Peas and carrots, carrots and peas. Book come out, please, please, please! Let's read the title of this book. Baby Dino's Big Discovery. We know what to do. We need to jump into this book and find the answer to my question. First, we look for super letters. And then put them in our super duper computer. Super duper computer, how many super letters do we need? <gasps> in this story, we need seven super letters. And then we'll get our super story answer. It's time to transform. Ready? Ready! Come on, puppy. You're coming too. <laughs> Woof! Super duper. Arms in. Put your arm in. Super readers, to the rescue! Once upon a time, a baby dinosaur hatched from an egg. Ugh. Hi, hi, hi! The baby dinosaur did not know where her mommy was. I need to find my dinosaur mommy. The baby dinosaur needed to know what kind of dinosaur she was so she could find her mommy. But. I don't know how to figure out what kind of dinosaur I am. And that, Super Readers, is why we are in this book. <laughs> Baby Dino and I both need to find out what kind of dinosaurs we are. To the Baby Dino! <laughs> oh, dear. Aw, don't cry, Baby Dino. We're the Super Readers, and we're here to help. Super readers? How will I figure out what kind of dinosaur I am? <laughs> hmm. First, we need to get you to where all the dinosaurs are. <gasps> yes, yes, yes! Woof, woof, woof. But how can we find all the other dinosaurs? Alpha Pig to the rescue! With my amazing alphabet tracker, we can follow the alphabet dinosaur footprints to find the dinosaurs. Say the alphabet with me and follow the dinosaur footprints. What's the first letter of the alphabet? A! A! <laughs> Let's follow the A path. A, B, C, D, E, F, 
G. Ooh, I hear dinosaur roars. Which letter comes after G? H. H. I hear the dinosaurs again. Let's follow the H. I, J, K, L, M, N, O. Which letter comes after O? P! P! They sound really close. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Lickety letters! We followed the alphabet dinosaur footprints and found the dinosaurs. Let's give ourselves a big thumbs up. Wow, wow, wow. Look at all the dinosaurs. Come on. Come on. All right. Yay! You see super letters? Which ones? O E R. O E R. Let's put them in our super duper computer. Four more super letters, and then we'll get our super story answer. Super job, super readers. Look, look, look! There are so many kinds of dinosaurs. But how can I figure out which kind I am? You probably need to look at one up close. But not me. Nope. Yes, yes, yes! <gasps> oh, dinosaur! <laughs> ah! Hi there. I'm Stego. That's short for Stegosaurus. Wow. You have lots of pointy things on your back. They're called plates. <laughs> I like your plates. <laughs> and I like your spiky tail. Well, thank you. Hey, hey, hey. Maybe I'm a stegosaurus, too. Ooh, do I have plates on my back? Do I, do I, do I? No. No? no? Oh, what about a spiky tail? Huh, huh, huh? No. No plates, no spikes. Hmm. I guess I'm not a stegosaurus. No, don't think so. Bye, baby dino. Bye, super readers. Bye, Bye see you later. later. You know what kind of dinosaur I am now? What kind? A hungry kind. Hungry, hungry, hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Are you an herbivore or a carnivore? A whativore? What's that? Woofster to the rescue! With my doggy dictionary, I can tell you what any word means. Herbivore means an animal that eats only plants, grass, and fruit. Herbivore. Carnivore means an animal that eats only meat. Carnivore. Now we know what it means. Whoop de doo! Give your tail a wag. Hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like plants. <gasps> I'm an herbivore. I like plants. Uh oh. Mmm. No, no, no. I'm hungry. And I wanted to eat the plants, but they're all gone. Wonder Rat to the rescue! With my Wonder Words basket, I can find another plant for Baby Dino to eat. This says ant. I love ants. And I love ant words. It's time to rhyme. Ant, rant, chant, wonderific, you're terrific, rant, pants, land, wonderific, you're terrific, ant. We need another ant word. 
What letter is this? P. P. What sound does P make? P. P. And what's this letter? L. L. What sound does L make? Ooh. Ooh. Now, what sound do P and L make together? Poo. <gasps> Poo. And this part says ant. Poo ant. Poo ant. What word is this? Plant. Plant. <gasps> A plant to eat. Yum, yum, yum. Wonderific. You are terrific. Mm. We changed the ant to plant and made food for baby Dino. You see more super letters? Which ones did you find? B. V. B. V. Let's put them in our super duper computer. Two more super letters, and then we'll get our super story answer. Right on, readers. One more. Yummy. But I still don't know what kind of dinosaur I am. Look, baby dino. Another dinosaur. Ah! I'm looking closely. She's eating plants and trees. <gasps> she must be an herbivore, like me. Hi there. I'm a Taurosaurus. Hi, hi, hi. You have one, two, three horns on your head. How many horns do I have on my head? None. None. No horns? Good grief. I guess I'm not a Taurosaurus either. Whoa! Oh, is shaking. What's that dinosaur? He has big teeth. That's a T-Rex. He's a carnivore, which means he eats meat. And that's us! <gasps> 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 hurry, hurry, hurry! Oh, hold on, oh, Alpha oh, Pig! This is oh, Puppy! Oh. Oh. <gasps> safe and sound. Thanks, Taurosaurus. Don't mention it. Oh, I'll never figure out what kind of dinosaur I am. Uh, oh, yes you will, baby dino. No, I won't. All I know is that I have a long tail. See, that's all it says in my story. Baby dino has a long tail. I need to know more. What can I do? Super wide to the rescue! With the power to read, I can change this story and save the day! We know that Baby Dino has a long tail, but we need more information so we can find out what kind of dinosaur she is. Let's use the word and to add more about Baby Dino to the sentence. Zap! Why, writer? Right. Now, what else do we know about Baby Dino? Does Baby Dino have a long neck, three horns, or a bony back? A long, long neck. neck! She has a long neck. Let's add that to our sentence. Zap! Hmm. We need more information about Baby Dino to know which kind of dinosaur she is. Let's add to the sentence. Why, writer? Right. What does baby dino do? She eats plants, eats meat, or eats oatmeal? Eats plants! She eats plants. Which are the words eats plants? Plants starts with a P. There! There! Zap! 
Let's read. Baby Dino has a long tail and a long neck and eats plants. <gasps> hey, I have a long tail and a long neck and I eat plants. I look just like that dinosaur over there. Are you my mommy? Yes, I'm your mommy. And you belong with me. I'm a Brachiosaurus, and so are you. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to leave you. I went to go get you some yummy plants. Thanks, Mommy. Super job, Super Readers. We changed the story and saved the day. You see more Super Letters? What letters did you find? S! E! Whoa! Dinosaur-sized S, E. Let's put them in our super duper computer. We found all of our super letters. Now we can get our super story answer. Bye, super readers. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Fly Flyers, back to the book club. Come on, Wooster. We found the super story answer with Super Y. Super Duper Computer, give us our super story answer. Read the letters with me. O, B, S, E, R, V, E. Observe. The super story answer is observe. But why? Because baby Dino had to look at the other dinosaurs very closely. She had to observe them. And that helped her figure out what kind of dinosaur she was. So my question is, how can I find out what kind of dinosaur I have? And your answer is... Observe! I get it. Let's go. Okay, let me look closely and observe this dinosaur. Does he have horns on his head? Nope. No horns, so he's not a Taurosaurus. Hmm. Well, does he have big teeth? Nope. No big teeth. Phew. So he's not a T-Rex. But he does have plates on his back and a spiky tail. I know what he is. This dinosaur is a... Stegosaurus! Stegosaurus. Now we can play dinosaurs together. Hello, new dinosaur. Who are you? Roar! I'm Stegosaurus. And I need some plants to eat. <gasps> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Not me. I'm a carnivore. I eat you. Roar! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> hip, hip, hooray! The super readers saved the day. Hip, hip, hooray! Together, so hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray!